In this video, I want to just complete our sort of run through of what it means to take the expectation and variance of a random vector by defining what it actually means to take the variance of a random vector x. And I'm actually just going to write it out here and we're going to sort of prove that this actually gives us our variance covariance matrix, which we defined at the end of the last video. The variance of a random vector x is defined as being equal to the expectation of our random vector x minus the mean of our random vector times, well, you might think it's just that whole thing squared, but then remember that this thing actually has dimensions. This has dimensions m by 1, and you can't times an m by 1 by another m by 1 vector itself. That doesn't make any sense. You can't just do sort of element-wise multiplication. So here we actually define the, the variance of x as being equal to the expectation of x minus mu times x minus mu all transpose. And now the actual um, indices match up because I have an m by 1 vector times by a 1 by n vector. So the sort of inner two um, indices are going to go away. So we're just going to be left with an m by 1, or sorry, an m by n matrix overall. So let's just prove that this actually adds up to what we had before. So let's just think about what this means sort of element-wise. We have that this is equal to the expectation of, well, this sort of first part of it is going to be sort of element-wise is going to be x1 minus mu1. The second element is going to be x2 minus mu2. And we sort of continue all the way down to xn minus mu n. So that's our first term in the parenthesis here. And then our second term is just going to be this first term transpose. So the first component is going to be x1 minus mu1. The second component, x2 minus mu2. And sort of continuing all the way up to the last component, which is xn minus mu n. And because we can sort of think about this as just some sort of ordinary matrix multiplication, we can write this as being equal to the expectation of we're the sort of first element is going to be x1 minus mu1 all squared because it's just going to be this term here times this term. The second term is going to be this top row times the sort of second element here. So that's actually going to be x1 minus mu1 times x2 minus mu2. So I hope you can see when we take the expectation of this random matrix, we're actually going to take the expectation of each of the individual components. This sort of first component here is going to yield the variance of x1. This second component here is just defined as being equal to the covariance of x1 with x2. And then we can sort of continue on for further elements. And I hope you can see that we're actually going to get the covariance matrix, which we have before. So each of the diagonal elements is just going to be sort of the variance. So the sort of second diagonal element is going to be the x2 minus mu2 all squared. And then we sort of continue all the way through until the last component, which is xn minus mu n all squared, which when we take the expectation is defined as the variance of component xn or the variance of random variable xn. So we've actually proved that this does actually add up to the variance covariance matrix, which we just sort of defined arbitrarily in the last video. In the next video, I'm just going to complete our discussion of the variance operator by just explaining what the variance of a constant matrix A times a random vector x is actually equal to.